and gentlemen, welcome to the last episode of 89 of PD's awesome guest panel. Now, tonight's guest star is an actress I've been a fan of for a very, very long time. You may know her work from such one, uh, some shows, like great shows like the Xena series, the Hercules series, and of course, a New Zealand's popular own show, Shortland Street. My guest at this time is the iconic Miss Megan Desmond. Megan, welcome. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. Thank you for the introduction. <laughs> um, yeah, no, very well. <laughs> anytime. And uh, one of the first questions I have for you, and this is going to be your typical cliche question, is how did you get, how and when did you get started into acting? Take me there. Um, so, like, growing up uh, as a kid, um, I grew up in a really small town, and there wasn't much to do up there. So I would, like, go off into my bedroom and just, like, pretend that I was like in all the latest shows that I love to watch and um like you know like um kind of like imagine um doing scenes with like Johnny Depp and stuff like that, <laughs> that and um so I always wanted to be an actress and um but I knew that like where I lived it wasn't going to be any good um because there was obviously no industry um up there um so when I was uh, 17 I moved down to Auckland and got a um and just went to a it had all the art subjects like drama and stuff which wasn't available to me I put in Kaitaira at that time and um, then before sixth form ended well, I think that must be year 11 now um, before sixth form ended they did a big casting swoop of all the schools in Auckland looking for kind of like new talent and that's how I got the part on uh, Shortland Street and then everything kind of rolled on from that oh okay and of course, um, as an actress, I always want to, I want to get your opinion and uh, views on this. Are there any methods or preparations you do for a particular role? You... Um, well, it was fun. <laughs> yeah, I mean, obviously, like um, I, I used to on the way to work, I'd like play I think some like Bulgarian folk music or something like that, which was kind of like to help me get in character. But um, otherwise, um, just researching um you know like uh, the the greek legends etc or um yeah and then just practicing with other actors i think is always helpful as well oh okay and the, this question i asked to all my uh guest stars that are actors and actresses and that is the raw emotion question which you are absolutely great in especially as discord um i'm gonna give you a scenario and say that you are doing a scene with a fellow co-star and in this scene it requires you to get into a heated argument with that said co-star and the co-star comes up to you and says miss desmond uh it says in this scene that it requires us to get into a heated altercation etc now i know it's going to sound very weird of me to, to act but i need you to lambast me and lay into me so hard that you can make me cry in frustration if you were approached with this type of method, how would you react to the, the set of pro, uh, approach and what would you tell the co-star? Um, well, yeah, I mean, I guess that's like where it becomes collaborative, you know what I mean? Like that co-star is telling me what his or her needs are um, in order to do their part successfully. And so like, I'd just, I'd just go with it, I'd just roll with it. Ah, okay. And the reason they would ask that is because that way it's not only like a uh, good storytelling, but also make it believable to the audience at home. Like this doesn't feel like it's like it's reading a script. It's more like this is real life emotion. Yeah, absolutely. Because like acting is not just about um, make believe. It's, uh, it's actually about finding the truth in the scene as well and feeling like the emotions um, truthfully, I guess. And that's where you get like the best performances. I agree. And um, yeah, of course, you've worked on, as I mentioned earlier, you've met, you worked on the Xena series. Uh, memories of working on Xena, and of course, do you have any funny behind the scenes uh, stories you want to share? Oh my gosh! So, um, yeah, I mean, the, the thing that I find amazing is it's like, um, so I think we shot the last episode in early and like in two thousand, and so it's like um, twenty three years ago um, that. And prior to that, that we that we that I did this work, and um, <laughs> my, my, I'm getting old. My memory's not so great. Um, but no, like um, what I enjoyed about it was um, obviously uh, working with Lucy Lawless because she's a real powerhouse of a performer, and um, and then just all the other kind of like um, guest stars that they had on the show. You know, um, I'm just trying to think of um, something. <laughs> Mm -hmm. something funny a funny story 
Um, yeah, but <laughs> the only one I can think of is so not something I need. I can repeat on. <laughs> on no camera. worries. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, it was great. And like, um, I guess the nature of the show it was so kind of naughty as well, which I really enjoyed. You know, like it was sort of very tongue in cheek, naughty, mischievous, like all the good stuff. Very cool. <laughs> um, and of course, in addition to that, you also worked on the Hercules series, especially Hercules The Legacy Journey. And one of my favorite episodes will always be A Wicked Good Time. And I just <laughs> want to get your memories of, you know, working with Kevin Sorbo, uh, Sorbo, pardon me, uh, and working on the set, any behind the scenes stories you could share, and that particular episode, A Wicked Good Time. Uh, um, yeah, so um, working with Kevin was 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 good um i mean he's he's a giant of a man <laughs> um but um yeah he was always really friendly etc um and then he had had his aneurysm right remember he had like a, a an aneurysm almost died so then um um which wasn't surprising really because like he was doing like a 12 to 14 hour day shooting and then and then having to train and do gym um you know go to the gym and stuff on either side of that and um, so anyway, when that happened, he got he got um, re reduced down to, I think he was only allowed on set for two hours. And so like he'd come on and he basically, we, you, they'd shoot him out, shoot all his um, his shots out of the scene. And then, <laughs> and then you'd be acting um, to like the lighting stand with a little bit of gaffer tape on it um, because, <laughs> yeah he was recovering um but yeah i also really enjoyed um working with michael hurst as well he's an amazing new zealand actor and um director etc um and yeah i yeah i think i've had a wicked good time on all of the episodes actually <laughs> oh, I mean, the, the series was just great overall i mean the acting like the storytelling like it's just it's one of my favorite shows growing up as a kid and i'll never I'm sorry. I, I actually just did, uh, I do remember a funny story um, about working on the show, and that, that was like an episode where I got like within the first two scenes, um, two scenes or something, I got changed into a pig, and <laughs> 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 so like it, it was um, yeah, and then for the rest of the episode was like a pig, and then a chicken, and then some, you know. Um, and so I remember going in because we had to do the voiceover, right? Um, voiceovers, and there was like a, a list of um, um, directions, um, director's notes of what sounds they wanted to capture or what lines they wanted to capture to then match with the with the you know the video. And um, what one of the one of the instructions was um, drunk chicken squawking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> do you still remember how to do that? I was like, okay, drunk chicken squawking. I think that, so I was, I was like, for me, that's a <laughs> But it, it was honestly like the notes were just so hysterically funny because they were so um, ridiculously, you know, abstract. Why does everything happen like to Discord? I noticed that, like we mentioned before, before she gets changed to a pig, a chicken, and then in A Wicked Good Times, like when Hala betrays Discord, she goes, You know what, you are Discord, a square, and she literally puts her inside a square. <laughs> it's like, why does all this stuff happen to Discord? That's <laughs> um, just lucky, I guess. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, I mean, I guess it's the nature of the, like, um, you know, that's what I really enjoyed was working with Kevin Smith um, and Joel Tobek and and being part of that, like, little tr baddies trio on the shows. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, with, you've got the, it's very much a goodies versus baddies kind of scenario with the, with the type of show it is. Um, and the baddies always have to lose at the end of the day. <laughs> True. <laughs> I, and I just love your delivery on um, all on both Hercules and Xena, though. Like, I remember to this day, like, the lines from A Wicked Good Time, though. Like, when you were trying, I think it was, I can't remember what the name of the daughter was. I think it was Hercules' daughter, where you tried to get her onto the dark side. And <laughs> they were questioned, like, I think Hela and the other person were questioned, like, is this the right one? You're like, 
Of course, I'm sure. Do you, do you do you not see how much unexpressed rage she has? Unexpressed rage that you're gonna help her channel. <laughs> I think everyone's got like unexpressed rage. <laughs> It's just, it's just so, like, I just love your delivery on it. It's, like, it's so vilified. Like, it's such a way, like, a villain delivers, like, the, the, the scene. Like, and especially at the end, like, when Hala betrays this court and you're like, how dare you? After all I've done for you, I am a god. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Of course, you worked with um, someone that's a dear friend of mine, and she's one of my idols, uh, Kat Brown, Katrina Brown. Uh, memories of working with... With uh, Cat Brown on the Hercules series, especially that episode of Wicked Good Time. Uh, yeah, no, she was great. She was like, um, and it's, you know, it's so cool to do stuff with other, like do American shows with other New Zealand actors, you know, like um, it's a real community. But yeah, Cat Brown, she's, I've got nothing but nice things to say about her. <laughs> she's great. <laughs> and I know she's going to probably be watching this episode too. So uh, Cat, this one's for you. <laughs> uh uh, uh, Miss Desmond, do you have anything you would like to say? Because she she said something very complimentary to you on the show on our show two days ago. Would you like to say something to her that she's probably gonna watch? She's gonna watch this. Yeah, Donna? I'd just like to say, hey, Katrina. <laughs> I hope you're doing. I hope you're well. And um, yeah, as I said, like um, it was great working with you and working on the show in general. So. Anyway, big shout out. <laughs> Absolutely. And much uh, and much like you, she, she's just a wonderful human being, though. Like, she can, like, it, it's like the opposite. Like, you, you play these vile villains, but, you know, like, you, you both are, like, based on how I'm interviewing right now, like, I can honestly say, like, you two are, like, the biggest saints. I can, I can honestly say I can <laughs> <chat> with. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'll take that. Anytime. <laughs> um, now... Of course, we mentioned Shortland Street earlier. Uh, memories of working on Shortland Street as Lulu Chatfield. Yeah, yeah. As I said, it was my first ever um, um, television job. And um, yeah, I did a lot of growing up on that show. And um, and when it finished, I was like devastated at the time because like, I, you know, I'd made all these friends with the cast and the crew, etc. cetera. Um, and the nature of the show is that it's quite, it's very ensemble. So, and there's so many kind of characters that you don't necessarily realize one week to the next if someone's not there anymore. And then it just occurs to you later going, oh. <laughs> <laughs> or, um, so, and, but the blessing in disguise was that six weeks after I finished on Shortland Street, I got the, um, the role for Discord in the telly movie young hercules which is kind of like where um discord originated and and then and then you know like um thankfully and and wonderfully um the character then went across all those different shows which was great now hercules and uh xena they were filmed in new zealand right yes that's right okay i'm um, just, just curious to know uh if they were if they were both filmed in the same location <laughs> Um, there were some shared locations. Um, uh, there was like, uh, but sorry. obviously there was like, um, there was a farmland that um, we used to shoot in, but in, in both shows used to use. Uh, but because it's farmland and it was quite massive, um, you know, <laughs> like <laughs> different shots of different trees, etc. Um, and then there were other studios that were that were actually used by both of them as well. Oh, okay. And you mentioned before that uh, you did some voiceover work uh, too, like when you do the voice of chicken and like that. Do you prefer like live act, like live action acting, or like voiceover work? Um. Well, you know, like I like both. I like both the good. Um, I guess what they do is um, you would there was always kind of like some sort of ADR on that you'd have to do at the end of the shoot. That um just to kind of like flesh out the sound and especially if it was on location and you know like um because of atmospheric conditions that um a line might have been lost or something like that so you go and then record re record it to be you know like overlaid um but to kind of also uh, flesh out the the story as well. Oh okay, and you played both uh good and bad, the protagonist and antagonist. 
Which was your favorite <laughs> to play? Oh, definitely the antagonist. <laughs> <laughs> I get that a lot here. Like everyone loves playing the bad guy. It's it's fun. It's so much fun to be the bad guy. Totally. And like um, I really get, I always enjoyed um Hudson Leak. Um, she was God Kalisto. She was like such a good badass, you know. Absolutely. And um, <laughs> and so was um Kevin Smith and Aries and Joel Tobek Strife. Um, like honestly, like sometimes working with those two. I would literally be clutching, clutching my sides, laughing so much. And then, then you have to like get, get serious again, you know, like, um, cause they're redoing the shop. Um, but yeah, they, they were, they were great fun. What do you th think about the impact that both the Xena and Hercules series has caused on younger generations? Cause there are younger generations that go on YouTube in daily motion that watch the series and it just builds more and more younger generations of new, uh, new fans. I know, which I find is like so, just so remarkable, you know, like um, that's like one of the conventions that I did, and I think this was back in 2013, um, I, was, I was like, wow, like the, the fan base, obviously, I was like, they must have been in nappies <laughs> when we, we, we did this, and, and, and you're right, and it was from, like from re-watching re or watching, um, you know, sh shows that were rerun or... Um, uh, yeah, and I just, I think that um, the sci-fi fantasy slash um, lesbian kind of like um, fan base is like, they're awesome. <laughs> we, we definitely love our Xena and Hercules cast members. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got to ask this one too, and this is a question I asked all my guest stars on the show. And that is whenever I'm not on a strict diet, I am an absolute foodie. Now, I know Hercules and... And Zeno, you know, a big production company. So I was just wondering, what was the catering scene like on both respective shows? Oh my gosh, it was like so good. And the thing was, like, um, you know, so uh, I'd have kind of, you know, poor artist gaps in, in between different episodes. And so when you're on set, it's like, and you see like the catering and it's like all laid out and it's like, wow. And then, um, and so they'd loosen off the corset, like, pre-lunch and it was after lunch when they had to tighten it again and it was like oh <laughs> so like <laughs> you couldn't do too much well yeah I did it I I probably had overrated a couple of times and then it was just like so uncomfortable trying to squeeze back into that thing that I had to learn some moderation but um I, t I tell you what like um Kevin Smith was so disciplined like um because you know Aries was quite a you know muscly guy um character and um he would eat the same thing every day for lunch which was a bowl of rice and then tuna and spring water on top of it and that's it and um yeah I was just like oh my gosh he's so disciplined how can he do that with all this beautiful food <laughs> <laughs> did you have a favorite meal with catering um oh well it was different every I, I it was just yeah I think they, they did some kind of like creamy chicken dish that was amazing but yeah i mean there was different caterers um and um depending on if you're lo location um or you know but like, like it was it was you get like almost you didn't need to eat again for like a week put it that way <laughs> <laughs> um of course um uh, uh, did you know that um cat brown and i talked about this too like when i had a run like how Power Rangers, like they took the development of Power Rangers and the location of it and brought it to New Zealand. Um, did you know about like the relocation of the Power Rangers being relocated to New Zealand? And did you ever try out for Power Rangers? I I think I auditioned a couple of times actually. And um, yeah, like <laughs> I am, um, but obviously didn't get the part. And, but it, I know that it's a big show um and it's got its following as well and and again like um especially when uh Zeta and Hercules and young Hercules had come to an end that left like such a massive hole in our industry at that time in terms of like shows to, to work on um because like Pacific Renaissance Rob Tapper etc um I mean they um and Eric um they brought so much uh money into our, our economy you know like and um especially over the period of however long it was that they were filming in New Zealand it was just such a great opportunity you know like for New Zealand actors to get onto American and American series um 
and yeah, so Power Rangers, um, I, I think, I yeah, I tried out for at least one part, and I remember sitting in the waiting room, and looking around at like you know six girls who are like vaguely look similar to you. They're all really kind of pretty, and um, there's only one part, and <laughs> um, yeah, it was very much like that. Was was it the same one that uh, Katrina Brown was part of, which was, I believe, not Power Rangers Ninja Storm? Uh, I'm not sure. Like, it's uh, what what um, run of the show they were up to at that stage. And then, um, as I said, like I remember there being like a at one stage there was a real big lull in the New Zealand industry of um, I think because maybe the tax breaks had changed or or. Uh, um, we weren't as competitive to like places like Canada as what we are now in terms of tax breaks and stuff like that. So, um, so yeah, there was like about a six year lull where there really wasn't much going on in the in industry and um, it was hard for lots of people. Um, but yeah, now it's kind of like, it's quite different because um, they've really realized like, well, New Zealand has realized that um, you know the money that it can bring to the economy like a big overseas job is like can bring bring so much work for people and um as i said cash into the economy so now they've like made it much more what's the word um enticing to come and shoot, shoot shows here now i see what you mean yeah and um mm. did you ever get to work with because uh cabaret worked with her on power rangers ninja storm and i believe she's also a new zealand actress and that is uh, katrina divine Oh, yes, I worked with her on um, Shortland Street because we were like besties on Shortland Street. It was um, Minnie and Lulu. She was Minnie and I was Lulu. Well, what was it like working with Katrina the Vine? Um, it was great, you know, like um, we actually, we hung out because a lot of, we had so many scenes together. Um, we actually became really good friends, like on and off the show. And um, so, yeah, we'd hang out and do lots of stuff together. And she's... Um, yeah, she's a really stunningly beautiful girl, you know, inside and out. Well, I can't wait to meet her and Cat Brown next year because next year there's going to be a Morphicon in California, and I'm got uh, my fiance got oh, cool. uh, myself and I uh, tickets, and I cannot wait to meet both of them. <laughs> Big fan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I saw on Facebook that she does she does that. Yeah, it goes to those um, conventions as well. Oh, that's nice of your fiance. Yeah. I think <laughs> I think she she saw like after I proposed to her at Disney World uh, last year. I think she wanted to uh, try to dump, like up the ante. Like she wanted to try to uh, <laughs> one up me. <laughs> um, That's cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, one of the final questions I have for you before we conclude, and that is, what's next for Meg? Meg is it Megan? Megan, right? I said that correctly, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like. Um... Um, I mean, New Zealanders call me Megan because it's the accent, but um, um, yeah, Megan is sort of like what I get from um, from British and American people, but okay. I don't mind either way. So the final question I have for you is, what's next for Megan Desmond? Now, this is part of my show where all my guest stars, they can say whatever they like, uh, talk, unfiltered, unsilted, you can say whatever you like. I'm passing the proverbial microphone on to you, Ms. Desmond. The floor is yours. Wow, God, no pressure. Um, uh, what's it for me? Like I've, even though I haven't done like a lot of acting work in the last however many years, I've still done a lot of film work, you know, worked on shows, but just in different, um, departments. Um, so, and I do, and I, I love the industry. Like I love, um, being part of a team and collaborating with other people, etc. Um, but I have a few ideas about what, where I want to take my, you know, like personally and professionally in the future. And um, I, I'm i still kind of nutting it out, but it will be in something to do with um, wellness. Okay. And um, yeah. Well, let me just say thank you for not only an amazing interview, but thank you for those childhood memories you gave me watching Hercules and Xena. You have, <laughs> it, it's, it's unfortunate. It's probably nice was What's that? <laughs> gave you night tears. <laughs> no, I, but you know what? It made those oh childhood memories never forgetful ones. <laughs> um, awesome. Now, 
you have um uh, now it's unfortunate you don't have the like the powers like Discord has, but you have this incredible gift where you can take a 33 year old fan and bring him way down here and make him feel like he's nine years old again watching Xena and Hercules. <laughs> oh my god, it's like a rejuvenation. <laughs> yeah, it's like you, you have like this incredible acting ability where like 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 you could tell a story. Like you're one of the best. Like like Cat Brown. I don't know if it's a New Zealand thing, but like you, Cat Brown, Katrina the Vine, Latham Gaines, all, all of them are just great storytellers. Absolute great storytellers. Thank you. That's that's awesome to hear. And like um, yeah, that means a lot. Absolutely. And uh, I'm gonna give you a copy of this interview as soon as I'm done editing it. And uh, so that way, uh, for yours. Um, are we uh, are we friends on like uh, Facebook? Do you have me on uh, Facebook? Um. Yeah, I know. I mean, obviously got you on Messenger, but um, uh, I can. I'll send you a friend friend request if we're not. <laughs> okay, and, <laughs> we're not already. Okay, and one last thing before we conclude, and I feel like you deserve this, and it's something I waited since I was nine years old for, and that is, thank you, Megan. <laughs> thank you, Megan. <laughs> thank you, Megan. <laughs> thank you, and my. <laughs> Such an awesome chatting with you, Miss Desmond. Oh, yeah, I really enjoyed it too. Thank you so much. Thank you. You have an awesome night. <laughs> you too, you too. Take care. <laughs> Bye. Bye.